Everyone, hi, Bruce Muffson again, LCSW from Sunridge of Nevada, coming at me with another breakdown of Mac Miller from his final album. The song is going to be Jet Fuel, and another great song, no argument. This album was a classic, and again, unfortunately, it was his last album, but he really owned up to his greatness. Uh, what I want to focus on is several lines in the video, and then the video in the in the lyrics itself that I thought were interesting, and the ones I part was the ones I looked at was now I am in the in the clouds, come down when I run out of jet fuel, but I never run out of jet fuel. Okay, in the song he's using jet fuel as a metaphor for the drugs and alcohol that he had used to deal with his problems, and drugs or alcohol have the effect of getting one high. Similar to how a plane uses fuel to take off. Mac is essentially saying that he's constantly buzzed with his head in the clouds because he never runs out of substances to abuse. And I got this from a, I got this from a contributor. Um, and also the song before 2009, I also got that. I'm sorry, Dano. I got that from a contributor as well. So people have interesting asides about understanding him on a deeper level. This song contracts with Come Back to Earth as Mac opts to remain in the sky and actually never come back down, we're in Come Back to Earth, a different, totally different perspective. Now, he also throws in, which again, that water reference is so prevalent in this entire album, is that, but I ain't in the shower and I ain't getting baptized. And there's always that water reference that he talks about. It's always there. Now, here's what I want you to understand about depression and looking at it from a different perspective. Whenever someone says to you they are invincible and they are not bound by normal conventions of normal human life, i.e. with sleep, with food, with stress, with pressure, relationships, watch out. That's a major red flag. If you got to stay up or upbeat or get things done artificially, it's all, you, and eventually what I always look at it is you're going to run in the red zone and you're going to run on empty and you're going to crash and burn. Um, I'm gonna, I'm 55, I'm going to be 56 next month, and there is no way I can compare myself to what I was 20 years ago. There's just no way. And if I don't take care of my body and take care of myself in terms of sleep, eating properly, not pushing myself to the limit, I feel, I feel the fatigue in my body, to be quite honest about it. I feel it in my eyes. Uh, I'm groggy the next day. I need a nap. I'm not the same person I need to be to get my work done. I'm a different person. So when I, you know, you can pretend like, you know, sleep is overrated. You see that on T-shirts. You know, I, I can handle anything. Oh, a couple of beers. I'm good. I'm good to go. Or I smoke some marijuana. I do heroin. I do meth. Oh, I can keep it going. Keep it going. The reality is, you can't. Okay. So like the writer said above, using code words as metaphors, but in the, you know, you, you know, you're fooling people. Hey, you had any jet fuel today? Hey, any jet fuel, any jet fuel? But the only person you're really fooling is yourself. That's the reality when you're dealing with these kinds of issues. This happens when you feel hopeless or helpless, change in sleep, too much or not enough. Oh, I'm right there with not enough. Inability to concentrate, stressed out or anxious, Constant fatigue. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <sighs> Yawning right now. Okay. Change in appetite. Weight gain usually goes up, but sometimes it goes down. When I see that change in the weight, either a lot of weight or less weight, not a good sign. Something is going on. When you're eating a lot of food, it's a cover for the fact that you're feeling depressed. When you're not eating, often it's a sign of depression as well. I survive on coffee and cigarettes. That's not healthy. So when you start doing that, I know it's going to lead to something negative. You need stability. You always need stability in your life. And it's the highs and lows like this that are going to catch up to you. Mac was so clear in this song on how he was coping. And as I go back to those dealing with this in your life... Or when you see this in your life, or you're dealing with family or with a family friend, this is what I want you to start to be aware of, these kind of nonverbal communicators to be aware of what you're looking at. Look for these signs, okay? It's part of the nonverbal communication, but it really comes down to simply seeing something and observing something that's going on in front of you. Depression wants you to think that you are inured and above it. And that the drug and alcohol, you know, gets you high, but it's an illusion. 
you know, I'm I, I'm not focused. I don't have to focus on the day to day grind. I'm up in the clouds. It doesn't work that way. That's that's the hidden demon in there. In reality, you're crawling around on the ground with no clarity with direction. Because what the drugs and alcohol do is it takes you away from having to make concrete decisions. That's what's the beauty of drugs and alcohol. It just sends you into the, into the stratosphere. You think, you think you're launching into space. You're on the ground. The rocket tipped over. Mac was clearly in pain. But for those of you that are in the same spot, find a different alternative and focus on being able to deal with it dead on and head on. It's scary at first, but the clarity that comes along with it is what's going to help you be able to move on. And again, you think you're going to fool everybody, going to fool everybody, going to fool everybody. The only person you're going to be fooling is yourself. Don't go there. Don't be there. Get away from there. Thank you. Thank you.